guys, Natalia here with Mom's Dish. Today we're making this buttermilk waffles. They're so fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside. They literally come together in minutes, so easy. You will never buy a box mix again. So let's get started on this recipe. For the ingredients, we need some all-purpose flour, a pinch of salt, baking powder, some sugar, vanilla extract, melted butter, two eggs, and buttermilk. Get a good quality buttermilk. This is the brand that we recently picked up. It's delicious. First, I'll combine all the dry ingredients. So I have salt. We're gonna just put it into the flour bowl. Uh, baking powder, sugar, and we will just mix it up together. Okay. And we will set this aside. And we work on our wet ingredients. So grab a larger bowl, that way you have enough space to work in it. We'll do, let's start, actually let's start with buttermilk. <laughs> we need two cups of buttermilk, so I'll measure that out. Hope I have two cups in here. Yes, <laughs> perfect. Okay, so two cups of buttermilk. Then pour in butter. You don't want butter to be hot though, so just melt it, not hot. Vanilla extract. And we're gonna crack some eggs in here and whisk everything together. Oh, come on. Get, whoa. <laughs> Another one. And let's whisk it up. I'm gonna use this whisk. Just until everything's well combined. And we'll be all set to add dry ingredients. It is perfect. Let's add those dry ingredients and we're gonna continue whisking. Just add them all together. Let me stack those bowls, that way they're out of my way. This is out of my way. Okay, whisk again. And you guys will never buy boxed waffle mix anymore because this is just so easy. Look at this though, super smooth. Just runny, no lumps of flour in it. I am preheating my waffle maker. I just want to show you perfection. My avocado spray is back again. So we're gonna spray our preheated waffle maker just a little bit. And this waffle maker is actually from Costco. Let's fill these things up. I just kind of fill in each one, make sure that all the edges are covered, but you don't want to overfill because you don't want the mixture to bubble out on the sides. I think this should be enough. Hopefully it won't bubble out. Okay. Turn. And we just wait. So the waffle is ready. We're gonna just open it up and take it out. Look at this. Beautiful crispy waffle. And I like to let it rest on a wire rack. That way it dries up on the edges Unless your kids are right here to enjoy it right away, warm waffle, that's perfect. If not, just let it rest in the wire rack. That way it doesn't get like soggy on the bottom. For the second waffle, I typically don't oil the waffle maker because we did add butter to here, so that's totally fine. Am I making a mess? I dripped it on the side. <laughs> By the way, you can make this dough the night before and just leave it in the fridge and use it in the morning for fresh waffles for kids or for yourself, might as well. Now we stack them up and you are officially the best maker of breakfast. Put some berries on top, some greenery. <laughs> can a waffle pyre get any bigger? Yes, you can double up the recipe because it's really good. You can freeze them for later. They are amazing. Okay, that, that's enough. You guys, it's a wrap for today. We're gonna go enjoy these waffles with the family. I hope you try this recipe. Let me know in comments what you think. I love hearing from you. And you can definitely freeze them for later. So double up, triple this recipe because you can toast it up and they're just as good as fresh. So enjoy it. Subscribe, we'll see you next time. Bye.